We're going to do that. That. Bam. All right. But look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at all these chickens. Not jokes. This is actually fire. And we got this most recent one last night. Isn't that great? I think we got this for finishing Act 2, I believe. Which I honestly was just... Da -da 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 -da. I was just skimming through that. Oh, you can't click on the profiles? Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah. I, I remember the episode, but I don't remember, like, the title and the seasons and all that. I just remembered roughly where it happened early on. I remembered who it was about. And I remembered what happened, but, like... But you're, like, you remember the title, you remember the season, you remember the exact episode. That's different. You also rewatched? Fair enough, fair enough. I, I do remember that is where we differ, because I... I just don't like rewatching things. Even if it's something I love. I just I cannot, I cannot. But without further ado, let's let up. Act three. We're in the library. And um I'm trying to remember what was it that I was exactly doing? What was it exactly? Oh yeah, we left the food for Hanako. And then we think she took it, even though I don't think she took it. Alright. And now we just ended up in the library. You know what? I think just going through this will jog my memory, so hopefully, hopefully it'll help. Person looking for you? Ah, okay, okay. I mean, I didn't mention the Morgan bit, but like, you know. I just mean in general, bro. Because even like, if you take my favorite, actually I'm not even a movie guy, I was about to re reference movies, but I couldn't do that. But like, even my favorite anime is like One Piece, Gintama, Konosuba, whatever, like, I could tell you my favorite moments, bits and pieces, but like, I could not tell you for the life of me, like, what happens X episode, because like, I had literally just gone from here to here, and occasionally, like, after couple of months I watch I might rewatch a fight or a certain scene and then I'll just keep pushing. But yeah. Like you did say it did say it's a personal thing. Um I sit reading in the library after school. Turning page after page, barely registering the words written on each out of sheer boredom. With my cheek resting in my hand. I can't help noticing the slightly rough Rough feeling against my palm. It won't be long before I'll need help to get a razor. Giving up on reading, I simply let my head drop onto the book in front of me. <clears throat> Things have quieted down considerably since Hanako began attending school again. Oh well, I've just opened my mug the wrong way. Yikes. It's just hot. It's hot. It's great. It tastes great, but it's hot. Um, I feel like I should know this as someone who has watched the show, but what does CSA, like, stand for? But, yeah. Okay. I think it's probably been so long since I've heard you say that. That it's just almost kind of slipped me. But yeah. But you know what? That's great though. That's great though. That if something can push you to find something that you're passionate about, that is amazing and... Oh! Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I'm as shocked as I am. Maybe it's just because seeing it out loud. Like, you know how I usually just read everything out loud on stream? I've learned to turn that habit down considerably, but like when I saw it, I was like, definitely not saying that. Appreciate you though, appreciate you. I really should have known that about context clues, but you know. What's life without my assistant? Um, when she first returned to class, nothing um, was said nor done that wasn't part of the usual routine. And it's, simp and it's been the same way since. 
Neither of us desired to bring up her accident, so there simply wasn't any point in pursuing it. And you know what? Thank you, Amade, for saying that. Thank you, for Amade, for saying that. And that, and I think, you know, because I think that should just go for anything in life in general for anyone. But yeah. Okay. I I felt like I should ask. I feel like it is common courtesy for like some things. Like even though I am re at this point really familiar with you guys, like you've noticed, like in like the past few weeks, there's times where you guys have come in. And I, it wouldn't even register for me to say hi, the you know, the hi, hello, how are you, whatever. If it's not at the beginning of the stream, because I've gotten so used to you guys coming in. Like, if it's you, Amber, Ethan, Ashley, whatever. My brain just automatically goes like, <laughs> and I just jump to conversation. But I feel like even then, I should. But I appreciate you, I appreciate you for saying that, yeah. Because, you know, some people are different. Some people don't want to talk about it all. And then some people like you are just like... It is what it is. It happened. It's not great, but it doesn't define me, like you said, which is amazing. Oh, and speaking of which, I did finish the rest of... I think I already said this, but I want to expand this. I finished the rest of the first season of Demon Slayer. I won't spoil it. But never have I ever, in one episode of seeing a new character, wanted to drop a series or show so bad... And I won't say which character, although if you've watched Demon Slayer or read Demon Slayer, you can probably tell which character I am referring to. Dog. They had one or two redeeming moments and this character was so annoying, I was like... I was like clawing my eyes and my eardrums like, how did people bear through to sit the rest of the show? And I was like, oh my fucking... It was like a constant headache, bro. I was like... That was one of the only moments it was like, huh, I should probably read the manga. So I don't have to hear whatever. Like, literally every time... Bro, this is how bad it was. I had these same headphones on. I was just chilling in my bed watching it on my um, TV in the back over there. And every time this character was on the screen, it was literally... This character was so annoying that the presence... I was just... Ugh. But every time they were on the screen, I literally did this with my headphones. I literally just did this. And then the only time I would put it back on is when I can see that another character is about to talk, and then I'll just slowly slide it back on. Stop! This character was so annoying. I was like, and mind you, I'm a pretty positive guy, but even I was like, like literally the first episode they were introduced in, for they they had the spotlight for, I'd probably say in real life, like two to five minutes. And dog, never has two to five minutes felt like two to five hours really fast. And I was like, please, someone suck the ever loving life out of this character. The only redeeming quality, well, actually, there's like two, is one, this is a really kind hearted character. And because of like a few moments in the show where I was like, okay, you're not completely useless. And mind you, I'm the same guy who likes Neon Genesis Evangelion. And I can tolerate Shinji from Neo Neon Genesis Evangelion. But oh, this character was like Shinji on steroids. Oh, my Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna get into that. You know, tonight's good vibes. Um, but the rest of Demon Slayer, though, amazing, amazing, and bruh, the ending was nice. Um, there was like I think it was episode nineteen, amazing, and another one of the episodes amazing. Um, hopefully, I get to watch the movie soon because apparently I heard the movie is actually canon. One of the few times I've heard that a movie of any anime is canon, so I'm gonna definitely watch that as soon as I get the chance. Um, and I heard season two j is airing right now, but I don't want to watch season two right now because I prefer to watch everything if it's entirely released so I can just binge in one go or at least do as much as I can. Because if it's airing, that means let's have catch up and then I'm going to wait for the next week and the next week. And by a certain point, I'm either going to grow tired of it or I'm going to forget and then come back to it like ages later. So it's like not worth it. But all I'm going to say is, yo. The main bad guy in um, Demon Slayer, yo, yo, this this guy slaughtering, cleaning up house. Oh, that's all I'ma say. Um, let's go, let's go, Devante. How you doing? How you doing? It's good to see you, my guy. How you doing? Um, we'll see. Still playing this game. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a long game, you know. I spend more time going on tangents like this with chat than actually playing the game. But yeah. Yeah. 
I did I did tell everyone though. Because of how long and how I'm I can be realistic. As optimistic as I am, I can be realistic and we're currently on app three with this one girl, Lily. And her mate told me thank you, May, a while ago that there's only four acts with Lily. So I'm gonna go through all acts. Despite whatever, whether I get a good or bad ending, I'm gonna go for one of them, and then just end the get game there. And then I'll probably watch all the other endings and everything else in my own time, because it's so not worth it. Like when you go on how long to be, it literally tells you it's like, oh, main story is eight hours. You know what that meant? It didn't specify, but uh, I went through Reddit's and uh, apparently those eight hours are for each character, and for each girl that you mainly get a root with, there's probably, I think, five. So imagine eight times five. Figure out that math. And that's if I'm playing straight through it, bruh. Hell. Oh, my face? <laughs> How you doing, Andrew? How you doing, Andrew? It's good to see you, my guy. Did I find out who Kenji's ex is? I haven't found out who Kenji's ex is. If I find it in this, if I'm meant to find it out in this route, then I have not found it out yet. Um, when she first returned to class, nothing was said nor done that wasn't part of the usual routine. And it's been the same way since. Neither of us decided to bring up her accident, so there simply wasn't any point in pursuing it. Smart man. Very smart man. Um, thus a few days went by, the daily grind continuing just as I had before. It's only natural that my mind would wander to other places. And more importantly, other people. The lily-shaped hole in the daily life for Hanako and me has been pretty noticeable for a while now. I'd be pleased to say that this has allowed me time to refine just what my thoughts on her exactly are. But alas, I've had no such luck. It doesn't help that um, many attempts to do so have led me have led to the troublesome topic of Iwanako. Every time my thoughts drift into that direction, I reflexively try to think about something else. It's, it's kind of funny. Damn. If I find out it's him in like Shizune or Misha, I'm gonna piss myself laughing, bro. I don't want to know the answer to that. I don't. I don't. I want to be blind to that. I want to find out for myself, but like. If I find out it's either one of them, I will piss myself freaking laughing, bro. It's gonna be hilarious. I don't want to know that. That would be hilarious to me. Why did this ha have to happen now? Um. Oh, it's Yuko. Oh, bro. The last time we saw Yuko in an outfit at a workplace, chef's kiss. I turn and look up to the source of the tentative uh, voice from behind, coming from behind me. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. That's not it. What is? Ah! I glance around the orange tinted room, quickly realizing how silly my apology must have sounded. In the time I spent thinking about lazing in here, everybody is well and truly left. My guy went on a monologue on a whole other story, bro. Library closing. If you don't want to go, I could keep it a bit longer. It's no trouble. Ooh, Yuka trying to slide for us. Hey, I appreciate you, Yuka. You're the real MVP. Um, don't worry. I should get going anyways. Thanks. Oh, damn, she, she looks sad, bro. She went from like, oh, I, I could let you in, to like, oh, shit. <laughs> She's like, what do I do all that for? If I ain't getting my appointment right now. Um, as I get up and begin to move off, I feel Yuko's eyes drill into my back. That's not something you ever want to feel in your life. You feel someone's eyes drill into your back? Guess what? You're most likely right. Trust me. Out of all my 20 years of living, which is not long, every time I've had that feeling, it's been right more. Way more than it's been wrong. Way more. Is there something wrong? You look depressed. Are you okay? Boy, I wish I could snitch on Hisao, but you know, I ain't going out like that. I ain't going out like that. Hisao actually been kind of cool, so you know, I'm gonna let him do the snitching on himself. Uh, Yuko nervously twists her fingers as she says this. 
unsure whether she's overstepping her boundaries or not. I really can't tell if she is more worried about my mood or about bothering me. Normally, I just have shrug it off and assure her that I'm fine. <clears throat> but my reflective mood gets the better of me. Despite being staff, she really doesn't feel as much like an authority figure about this. Oh yeah, I do forget she is staff. What is true colors, bro? How many hours in this game? Um, it's meant to be eight hours per each main girl, which is like five of them. So that's 40 hours. And then there's extras. And then there's also if you're streaming it. And then there's also if you're like me, who likes to take their time while streaming it. So I'm gonna I'm let you figure that out. And uh, what's it called? I've been playing this game, I think I checked it from like the very first VOD. Dog, I think I've been playing, I'm pretty sure I've been playing this game for at least, when it comes to this Friday, it would have been about like two weeks. Oh, Life is Strange, yeah, I've heard of that series. I've, I've seen a few clips and everything, I'm like, yo, that looks alright. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm crazy about it, but like, it definitely looks like something I would want to try in the future. Um... It's just, I get the best term uh, for it would be relationship problems. <laughs> oh, I'm not so good with that kind of thing. My only relationship ended kind of abruptly. That's tough. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know why I'm talking like this, because, you know, my last one, that was tough as well. I feel you, baby girl. Um, but if you want to talk about it, I mean, I can listen, I think. You know what? Ain't no shame in talking to her about it. What's up? You enjoy the series? Okay, okay. Yeah, apparently, I from what I've heard, I think it's like the second or third game in the series, so it's like... Oh, no, no, you told me there's more. I remember, yeah, one stream. I'm actually remembering this now. One stream, we're talking about this briefly. And you told me there's like a whole thing about it. It was like, it's either this one, another series, and I was like, whoa. I felt like Jimmy Neutron, and I was like, brain bless. <laughs> Shout out to anyone if you've ever watched Jimmy Neutron or you know who he is. Sh shout out to you. Shout out to you. That's my childhood, bro. Character driven stories? Ah, okay. Alright, might consider. Um, now, I feel kind of bad for bringing it up. She's not that old, though. So at least she has a good chance of finding another partner. <laughs> it isn't like we're in a bad situation right now. We have spent many days um, together as friends. Sometimes going out to do stuff. <laughs> that kind of thing. 40 Gs? Yeah, bro. Times three. Um, any estimate, estimated hour for Fraser? <laughs> that is actual facts. That is facts. That's just a common meme at this point. Y yep, it was this one. Yeah. Five... Five games and four main ones, bro. Four main ones. That's crazy. I've only heard of the True Colors one and I think the one before it. Um, but I'm starting to want to do more for her, learn more about her, and be with her more. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's actually love or not. No, maybe it's infatuation. Who knows? Um, but and our friendship. Um. And our friendship as it is stands is enjoyable. You shouldn't let that stop you. <laughs> she looks so adorable when she does that. Uh, sorry. How to say this? Um, I think that it's nice that you have a good friendship. <clears throat> but school is going to have to eventually end. Very true. Um, do you think you'll be fine with not knowing um, if it could have gone further after you've graduated? I guess that's the crux of the problem. I really have no idea what the answer to that question is. Well, I can't really help there. What your true feelings are is something uh, you have to decide for yourself. But I think that if you do love, do love her, you should definitely say something. I bet. 
before the storm, OG game. Oh, okay. Yeah, never heard of before the storm. No lie. Damn. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've heard of everything else minus before the storm. That one's just flown under the radar. But that's kind of logical. Hold up. Thank you. Shout out to you, homie. After thinking about it really hard, I decided that even though my relationship um, didn't work out, it's still better that way than never knowing if it might have or not. Very true. Can't go with living on with regrets, bro. Regrets? No, nah, man. Regrets hurt, bro. I mean, I ain't got regrets, bro. I got things I'm not proud of, but like, I feel like I feel like I kind of see no point in regret, personally, because it's like, I remember it was something I learned from a friend, but it was like, because it's like, to me, the way I see people like talking about regrets is like, oh, I wish so-and-so so -and -so never happened or this and that never happened. Because when you say that, you eliminate the growth that comes cause of that. So it's like, imagine if it's like, man, I wish I never lost this friend. And I'm not talking about like death. I'm talking about like, you know, for whatever reason. Or, man, I wish this bad thing never happened to me. But what if those bad things that happened to you ended up, like, creating character within you and growth and, you know, like, teaching you strength? It's so, like, you know, you wouldn't want those bad things to happen to you, but in the grand scheme of things, they worked out. So it's like, I, I personally see no point in having regrets because regrets are like, bro, it's like, bro. So, so much to like look forward to. So, I don't know. I feel like some people chain themselves down with it. Some others, unfortunately, are just bound to it. Like, my situation's out of the control. So it's like, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And it is a personal thing. That is very true. I never expected you could have sound so wise. Imagine if he's like, man, I never expected her to sound so old. <laughs> They're all part of- Yes, that is fact, Tomei, thank you. Every story has its up and downs, yeah. Because it's like... Okay, let me see if I can find an example, so... Uh... Okay, I'm really trying to think. It'd be like... I don't know. It'd be like me regretting, like... Let's say if I... Let's say if... Okay. I could use... Okay, let me use a really real-world example, right? Let me use a real-life example to paint a clear example, like, right? Because most people will do this. Um, let's say my ex, right? Um, last together, or pretty much ever around together was three years ago now, and things ended bad. <laughs> Bro, this, bro, when I tell you things ended bad, it sounded like something, it sounds like something out of a cartoon. And I don't want anyone to have any pity or sympathy because one, it's been three years, and two, dog, I've learned to laugh at it so hard. Like, if I told y'all, dog, it sounds like something straight up like a Tom and Jerry cartoon or something, bro. And all, all my friends this, all my friends this, and everyone else that knew her knows this. And dog, it's, it's just hilarious, bro. And... I could be like, oh, I regret ever, like, meeting her or dating her because, you know, because of how it turned out and because of how bad it went and how sour it went. But on the other hand, it's like, because I did all that and because I went, like, you know, with her and went out with her, I learned all these things to look out for in people. I experience a lot of firsts in that relationship. So like now that if I ever go to, whenever I go date girls, like after, or talk to them, I am, even, even if it's not consciously, subconsciously, I'm kind of like filtering out things I sh see, I should have seen as red flags. So like, if someone's like a little too argumentative, red flag, or if, um, or if someone can't hold a conversation, like, no, no, not hold a conversation, but if it's like, I don't know. It's like, though, when I tell you though, a lot, there were a lot. But that's all to say, pretty much, you can't say you regret 
things. Because to me, it's like those things in some way, shape or form will make you better in the future. Damn, I really went on a tangent about that, didn't I? Meh. Um, well, I suppose not uh, very much was actually answered. Talking to her has helped get it off my chest. <clears throat> And I have no doubt that I should confess if I really do like Lily. I have a slightly frustrated side. If only reading so much actually helped when it came to situations like this. She gives a girlish giggle, which only reinforces my view of her as being different from the usual staff here. I'm telling you about it, you could be really cute. In the end. In the end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I put my trust in you. Shout out to the bar. Um, in the end, <laughs> one thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. Design is trying to explain it you time. Oh, I know time is a valuable thing. I, I'm telling you, I, when I get caught up in something, I get caught up. Um, in the end. It all comes down to what will happen after school finishes once again. What's up, Hermay? She says she deserves better? And you know what? I agree with it. I agree with her. That is why, like, whenever, like, I see traits, like, not, not, not even in, like, those type of relationships, but, like, even with friendships, like, those certain, like, friends, well, I wouldn't really call them friends now because of what happened, but, like, things that I see in other people that I once called friends, and, like, that I can see in other people, it's like, oh, like, for one instance, right, if I can drill one thing into anyone's heads here, right, I think the vast majority of you don't, but just to anyone, regular or non-regular, or people, I don't care. If there's one thing I can just drill into your head, don't confuse someone who is nice for someone who's a good person. Like, the two can be mutual, but they are not, like, always, they are not, like, the same, if that makes sense. Like, being nice does not equal being a good person. Like, how, I'll put this in for example, right? Like, I've met some people who can come across as rude or mean to some people, right? But I know deep down at the, at the end of the day, those people are genuine and they're, and they're good people. Because to me, nice is just like, you know, like, there's no, like, I wouldn't say if you're nice, you're automatically a bad person, like, no. But, the amount of times you could easily just confuse someone who is nice as a good person is just bad, bro. And I've done that before, so it's just to say that, telling you, some people do not have your best interests at heart, bro. I'm prompt, I can wholeheartedly promise you. And just watch by how they act, and listen to your gut intuition most of all. Because, most of all, that's what helped me. It's your gut intuition. It's the thing that, even if you can't see it, your gut intuition does not lie to you. I love that. I love that. Thank you, man. Thank you for saying that, yeah. Because I know some people, like... Like, I, I, I already told Devante this in person, so he won't, he won't mind. He won't care if I say this on stream, but, like... Bro, when I first met him, I thought he was that way, too. Because I was like, he wasn't per se exactly this, like, nice, like, person or whatever. Not to say he was, like, bad, but, like, the way... He was, like, so... Because he, he still is kind of the same way, but he's so honest that it rubs people the wrong way and if you don't know him or if you're not um or if you're not like that yourself where you can take honesty like no i don't know some people who just talk mad trash about him right 
and mind you, he doesn't do the whole nice thing pointlessly being nice, but he is a good person. Like, I've seen him, like, if I've ever needed, from when I first met him to, like, when we were, like, I think 15 or something, whenever I need, like, money or help with an issue with a, another friend or something schoolwork, he's always, always been down. I guarantee if I call him right now, even if he's sleeping, he'll still be, like, he'll be like, yo, what's up, what you need? Hell, the man edits my videos, bro. The man edits my videos. Before I even became an affiliate, he'll tell me everything like, oh, this is what happens, this, that, and blah, blah. He'll give me all these tips. Um, when it came to getting my whole setup, that man was the reason for all of it. Now, he I wouldn't say he's the most nicest guy in the yard. He's definitely better than he was when I first met him. I, we've talked about this. <laughs> but, like, that is a good person, bro. Someone who can actually back it up by the actions they prove because i met some people who on the outside are the nicest people you'll ever see right they're like hey how are you da, 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 da. and you would never once think that these people are like that right and those you know you remember how i mentioned those same people who, who talked trash about dev when we were back in high school they were the epitome of this like they were the nicest people here right but like when you see the way they talked about other people behind their backs um, and the things they did to other people, it was like, oh, you're a bad person. And I only got to know this because I've stuck around and I get to see it, but it's like, oh, you're a bad person. It's like, what? Oh, uh, you're listening? Yeah, yeah, enjoy. That's why it's like, please, if I can drill anything, yes, I know we'll get to the game soon, but it's like, if I can drill anything, nice people do not equal good people. I... Please, please. I've made that mistake one too many times. Like, just once is enough, but like, don't, please. Because I know there's some people to this day who probably still do that. But Apple don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> yeah, all that glitters is gold, yeah. We're listening, yeah. Even, you could say to an extent, Andrew's kind of same, minus the, like, the the extent of the honesty, but, like, because, you know, he doesn't give the fake old, like, smile-ish thing or whatever, like, he's just, like, he's more, like, plain face and just straight to the point. But that is also, at the end of the day, a good person. If I've ever needed to, I guarantee you, when there were times where, if I've ever needed to stay at his house because I felt sick, or, um, or if I needed someone to look out for me, I trust that, man. Because I'm just saying, there's some people who appear to be all, hey, how are you, da da da. And I'm not saying this applies to girls, although I've seen my fair share of it happening to girls. But even guys, they have their fair share of this as well, and I promise you. I just promise you. Just, just, just watch out. Um, in the end, it all comes down to what will happen to me after school when this finishes. What? In the end, it all comes down uh, to what will happen after the school finishes once again. Considering what happened before I came to Yamaku, uh, it feels like being asked to keep up with a field of runners despite having started from a dozen yards behind them. Roses have thorns? Facts. Bruh, how we got into this convo? Oh yeah. We did, we did kind of start talking about that. It was like one thing triggered another. Yeah, the regrets thing. And then one thing triggered another... Because, you know, I tell y'all, like, if I can remember one thing and it triggers another memory, I'll tell y'all. Because, you know, I feel like I'm the type of person, if something comes up, I gotta get that out immediately before I, like, forget about it. Or before it comes out, like, way too late. But, yeah. I wholeheartedly do not regret taking up that much time on stream. Absolutely. I would do that again. Um, It's just one more motive to move on from the past. Uh, the last thing I need right now is to get caught up um, in that and getting home sick while I'm at it. Once again, I find myself calling Lily. My phone bill is going to be horrific. <laughs> I find this funny because I just recharge like my like phone thing, the phone recharge thing, prepaid plan, whatever it is, blah blah blah. To those who don't know, that know, yeah, especially once you pay for your own. Um, considering this is international, but it's worth it. I don't only want to smooth over her feelings from the last time I called. 
I genuinely want to talk to her again. Oh, Nokia, again. When the phone finally picks up, I easily recognize the voice in her then. It's Lele's mother. Oh yeah, these conversations, like, if you ever notice to anyone, it's, but I usually, if I talk like this, just know I'm talking to mainly the new people, but this can go to everyone as well. But if you ever come across any stream I do, and if the conversation we have currently seems so far removed from whatever is on the screen, I promise you, it's a long tangent. It's a long tangent. But yes, and now we're here. Sato? Hello, Miss Sato. May I speak? Hey, I got the Lily's mother right there. Lente. I've forgotten how the rest of um is supposed to go. It's not encouraging to forget such a small amount of words. Even um if I didn't spend that long trying to memorize them. May I speak with Lily, please? Um, hello again, Isel. Are you teaching yourself English? Just a little. I don't think I'm too good at learning languages in general. Don't pigeonhole yourself, my guy. Oh, don't say that. Your pronunciation was good. I'll get a lady for you. Just wait a moment. Also, just ask if you got... That is true. Why try to dig and remember everything when I've got the person with the literally best memory in this chat, bro? Probably the best memory I've seen in my life, but dog. I was about to reference an obscure show. Like, it's not that obscure, it's a Disney show, but... It was a Disney show that wasn't that popular, you know? You know those Disney shows that weren't that popular, but, you know, you, you kind of watched it, if you did? Damn. Maybe it's because I'm... Maybe it's because I'm kind of the opposite, where, like... I'm so used to tangents that I just don't bother remembering. <laughs> Um, I barely wait as she goes off in sociality. Um, the other end going silent. I eventually make a much more awake sounding... No, no, eventually a much more awake sounding Lily than last time answers. But this time, um, over there being past noon by now. Hassel, are you there? Yes, baby girl. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm here. Good evening. Good afternoon. Sorry for taking so long. I was outside in the garden. I don't care about your garden. Gardening? Unfortunately, I found I'm no good at it. So I just smell the flowers. I think my fingers appreciate it more. I take it Hanukkah's recovered a bit? Uh, yeah. I just made sure she was eating. Um, and eventually she righted herself. Um, thanks for the help the other day. I don't think I was really that much help. The main thing is that she's better though. That is factual. Factual, actual. True. How's life over there then? It sounds like you've been living in nothing short of a mansion. <laughs> well, her family is rich, that's facts. The bread crumbs? <laughs> That's hilarious, that's hilarious. Oh man. Keep that if you can. But yeah, thank you, I appreciate that. I feel like I should kind of just strive to remember as well, because there will be times where you won't be able to be here for whatever reason, so I feel like as much as I will let you do that for the most part, some part of me should just, you know, slightly pick that up, so I can be like, yes, this, that, and that, that. Mini mansion. Excuse me. Um. How is it like living in a mini mansion, bro? Because even when you say mini, that still sounds insane to me. That's crazy. Um. I wouldn't call it a mansion. Yeah, because you're used to it. But it's rather large. Is obviously what she wants to say. <laughs> No, modesty stops her. I'm... I'm a little envious, but it is her holiday. Um, it's a nice house to stay in, though. There's a beach nearby here, too. 
which Akira is especially fond of. Oh wee, she's a swimmer. She's constantly dragging me there to have um, swimming competitions, which she wins every time. Lily doesn't um, strike me as very athletic at all. <laughs> well, damn. Just tossed her out. Just, just, just tossed her on the. You know how they say throwing someone on the bus? He tossed her under the ocean, bro. Just, bro. He tossed her under the boat. So, not being adept at swimming seems logical enough. The fastest I've ever seen her move is understandably relaxed pace um, during her walk to and from the suburbs down the hill from the school. It makes the image of her uh, swimming hard to imagine. The beaches there must look nice. They'd be less crowded than the ones around here, at least. Indeed. Akira says that the area around here looks beautiful because it's so far outside the city. I only realize what I've said after I say it. But it doesn't bother her at all. It's still easy to forget that she can't see um, when she's not around. You wonder, huh? Despite the time we've been friends. Three stories? Excuse me? Look, I, I remember you saying your family was... You had, you, you had a decent sized family, but dog! Three stories? What? Did your pet, like, cook and clean the dishes for you? Like, did your pet, like, cook food for you? And, like, did you have, like, butlers and all that? I'm, I'm kind of taking jabs, but dog. When I hear Mini Mansion, I'm like, that's insane, bro. Three stories? I've only ever been in a house with two stories. I likely want to be to go to a house with three stories. That sounds sick to visit. Uh, that said, the local accent sometimes makes communication a bit hard. It's a constant reminder that this isn't a home. While the fact that she doesn't consider her parents' residence to be her home makes good sense, it makes me realize that I can't really answer whether the same goes for me. Spiral staircase? Ah, oh, that sounds nice. That would have been sick if you didn't say, like, you had, like, a butler or, like, I don't know, a nanny or something. That would have been sick. Because that pretty much would have been, um, your house would have been pretty much the Fresh Prince of Bel Air house. We're gonna roll with that. We're gonna roll with that. Don't think that was actually name, but we're gonna roll with that. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You wish? But that's pretty much what it was. And up to the na 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 na. I looked to the car at home, smell you later. Look at my kingdom. And I was finally a day to sit on my throne as Prince Bel Air. Doom, doom, doom. Um. Graduation from Yamaku is distant enough to be difficult to view objectively. And I spent so much time um, in the small room. I've come to accept the dormitory as my view from home surprisingly quickly. I guess that would be hard to deal with. Um, is your knowledge of English holding up? Thankfully. I may be fluent, but being in a position where I have to use it often helps um, in curbing my Japanese accent. So it's been useful practice. I hear you're trying to teach yourself English. Yes, ma'am. Good day to you. More like memorizing a few lines and failing at even that much. I'm really not cut out for learning another language. My mission of defeat draws in a music girl. If you see me speed reading, you know what we're doing. I'm making up for last time. Um, I believe that there are things one chooses to do in life and also things that are... Um, Choosing for one to do it. Well, what? I believe that there are things one chooses to do in life. And also things that are chosen. Okay, okay. For a second I was like, wait a damn. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Diggings. Man, autocorrect would be funny, bro. That wasn't even remotely close. Who, who even uses the word diggings, bro? Autocorrect is just... Sometimes autocorrect can be on point. Sometimes autocorrect is just... 
Nah. Stuff your life. They don't believe in air conditioning? Oh, nah. Oh, nah, son. Miss me with that. If any place I'm moving to does not have an AC in the heater, I shall be packing my bags immediately. <laughs> Bruh, you got like, um, you got like the amber level of autocorrect. Wait, it was either amber or I think it was someone else. It was either amber or titan. No AC? Nah, that's tough. Cause what if it's mad hot and you're trying to chill and then it's like, ah! It's like, what I do, bruh? You can take um, comfort in the fact that you're better than me in science and math. And at least. All that's helped me is in making um, all that's helped is in making me Muto star student. I wouldn't worry about it. The useful skills for many jobs, right? That's what he tells me. His face ver veritably lit up when I said I'd probably go into a career involving either. We both share a warm laugh at the events that have befallen each other on opposite ends of the world. It's nice and reminds me of our simple small talk that I've been missing ever since she left. As each of us waits for the other to begin speaking, I decide to push ahead with my feelings. I can feel my throat uh, tightening slightly. We, um, I miss you. Signs on the other end of the phone tells me she's given the words their due weight, but as soon as I go on, I can't help but feeling more and more apprehensive. Nah, man, if she went silent, my heart would have sank and I'd been like, you know what? Good day to you. We're just friends. I'm not petty, but like, okay, I'm kind of petty, but uh, I would have cut my losses there immediately, bro. I don't care if she's thinking about it. I don't give a damn. Just ceiling fans? Oh, nah, that's tough. Oh, nah, that, that's pretty much similar to what I got here in the show, because, you know, this room that I'm in pretty much didn't exist until, like, three years ago, because uh, my fam, my, by my fam, I mean my parents, got this room and the living room behind it, um, aka behind me, built up three years ago. So, like, you can tell that there's one side of the house that is original, the other side of the house has been, like, entirely, like, remodeled. And, uh, yeah, amazing room, loved it, been chilling, um, you know, changed myself a million times, loved it each and every single time, you know, you know. Okay, kind of a lie, I like some more than others, but, where the fuck was I going with this? Oh yeah, but with the ventilation, but, because in my room, um, the reason, this is, and this is bad, my room is the only room in the house that has no ventilation. And because, uh, let's just say the cheapskates that built this uh, didn't think to add that in the total pricing of everything. So they're like, yeah, that's gonna be, you're going to have an additional fee. That's what my parents said. And they're like, well, nah, because, you know, that should be an original thing. And pretty much those guys wanted to extort more money. And I was like, huh. So I just decided to live with it. Um, if y'all can tell... Um, Next, besides um, Bulbasaur and Gengar, if you can see closer to Gengar, there's a fan in the distance. I'm gonna point this way though, but yeah, there's a fan in the distance of it. Originally a kitchen? <laughs> How befitting is it that it was originally a kitchen and now Tyne's gonna be a chef, bruh? How befitting is that? That is what you call, ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a full circle moment. Tell me it ain't so.
Wait, both of them? I only knew Tame was gonna be a chef. What? Oh, what? Hey, yo. Shout out Titan and shout out your other brother. Thankfully, the silence ends almost as quickly as it's begun. I miss you too, sir. Oh. Bro, I want to end that phone call so quickly, bro. I don't... <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Lily. I'll be like, nah, we only friends now. <laughs> what you taking that long for? Once again, the phone is hung up simply and without um, any further ado. That light, tentative, all in shy voice. Her warm and soft tone. I'd simply be lying to myself if I were to say that I didn't recognize this feeling for what it is. With thoughts of Lily dancing on my mind, I start anticipating her return. Today has been a most excellent day. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I sit listening to another of Muto's long-winded lectures, my mind wandering far from the scribbles on the dirty blackboard. Ah, oh, okay. He just got his associates? Congrats to your bro, man. Congrats to your bro. Appreciate your family really did all that, but congrats to you, bro. He done made it, and Titan, Titan made it, alright? I feel it, I feel it, Titan made it. It's gonna be, your family about to, you know, experience some hotel treatment, bro. That's what I'm saying. Since I called Lily, my mind's been drawn in two directions. Both roughly, both, roughly led to the same conclusion. I've started to feel oddly detached from my past life. It's only been a month and a half since I arrived here, yet the school's become a second home. I've gained new friends and contacts. I managed to get uh, to grips with the school's lifestyle and culture, and become accustomed to the quirks on my classmates. To become used to a school where disabilities are the norm, rather than the rare exception, still catches me off guard sometimes when I think on it. The same school that's populated by burn victims, amputees, the blind, the deaf, and all manner of disabilities in between. If someone had described the school to me um, before I came, i become, um, I'd have shrugged it off as an overactive imagination. Boy, I, you saw how that turned out. Um, even when I first arrived, I felt like the Dutch coming um, to this strange new land for the first time. Anytime, anytime. Proud of him? As y'all should be. Bruh. I could only imagine what your parents felt like as well, because it's like, bruh. If I, if I was a parent, and my kids just doing what they want to do, and then they're like, yo, what you want to do? It's like, yo, I'm going to be a chef. It's like, I bet. And then they become a chef, and it's like a... Like, of course you're proud as a new parent, but it's also like, I could only imagine, I, bro, if I was, if, I'm just saying, if I was a parent, I'd be like, I'd do all that private stuff, and then I'd also be like, the food's gonna be amazing, I'm gonna be crying, I'm like, <laughs> and then the kids would be like, don't cry, and so forth. I'm like, nah, man, I, I'm like, that food's gonna be amazing, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be that annoying parent, so brag to everyone, it's like, look at my kid, they go for Gordon Ramsay, and all the best chefs in the world. They're our master chef. And then everyone else is like, chill, it's like, no, no, no. You ain't got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. <laughs> your parents? Absolutely, bruh. I'll be surprised if your parents weren't like that, because I would be, bruh. I'm not even the parent, and that's how I feel, bruh. If one of my friends, well, actually, one of my friends is kind of a chef. But every time I see something that they do, I'm like, yo, that looks fire, like, I'm like, you should make that. Or if I know someone's talented or something, I was like, yo, I kind of want to slice. It's like, let's go. Like, you know. Kind of hyping them up, but also at the same time, I'm like, you know what it is. It's amazing how quickly one um, becomes used to the environment they're forced to live in. Really. 
And now I've even found someone that's got me entirely smitten. What a strange life. I wonder who you guys smitten. Uh, I wonder who got you smitten. Ha 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 ha. Dang. Now that's a resume and a half, bro. Bro. All I'm saying is, your parents have got to be the proudest people in the world, bro. Because if I had that list, I'd be like, <laughs> bro, I'll, I'll, bro, I'll be the cockiest parent in the yard, bro. You know how parents, like, have a meet-up or whatever? I'd be like, haha, this is like, how's your kid doing this? Like, well, i got two lawyers. I mean, two chefs. i got a lawyer, a psychologist, and an artist. Whatever I want, they got it. If I want food, bam, bam, bam. If I want to know something about my mental, bam, 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 bam. If I want to, you know, skip taxes, bam, 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 bam. By the way, don't skip taxes, kids. I don't care where you live, do not skip them. Um, and if I want something painted for me or done up really nicely digitally, bam, 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 bro. I'll flex so hard, bro. I would flex so hard, I would make Kanye look humble. Before my mind um, can wander any further, I find a page um, of lined paper slipped on the, my distracted face. The garish, um, bright pink ink has no doubt been penned by Misha. Yay. Uh, don't look so bored, he chan School's nearly over. Three day holiday. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, them three days holidays hit. Or oh, especially when you get four day holidays, bro. Like, like, Saturday, Sunday, and then you get two public holidays, one after the other. Bam, bam, bam. Primary school and high school used to be amazing, bro. I think the closest thing we get to that here now is Easter weekend. That's probably about the closest thing. Oh, yeah. Very illegal, children. Very illegal. I wish I was kidding. No. Very illegal. They're proud of right? Nice, nice, nice. That's good to hear. You ain't got word. Hey, let's go! Three day weekend for you. Let's get it, y'all. Yeah. Ha! Alright, we get signed up Monday off. I think you're missing Sunday, my guy. Can't complain about having less school, I suppose. Unless they do have school on Sunday, then. It's kind of cooked, but... I had kept my pen and scribble on the page before covertly passing it back to her. Flicking my eyes to the front of the class every now and then, Muto uh, continues scrolling away arcane equations and formulas on the board. I'm guessing you have something planned? Nah. Misha takes the paper back and hunches over it comically. Even for her, with her tongue poking through the side of her mouth. Did she misinterpret my expression as depressed? And is she trying to cheer me up? I wouldn't know. Student council work with Shichan, of course. Yay! You're not still brooding over that, surely. <laughs> but Shichan could have helped us pull in the girls. Ah, nah, 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 we're not doing this whole heroin, we're not doing this whole like, oh, come save me, this is not the 1950s, bro. You want your Prince Charming? Go find him. You know what? Be independent. Go do that. Cause you don't need no man. And you clearly don't need his style either, so. Shoot. Shoot. I'd lend you a hand for today if I wasn't so busy. Man, he's out better than me, bro. I, I lend you a hand if pigs started flying. With no strings attached. Ooh, naughty, naughty, Ethan. I'm just gonna meet with Lily. I'm just going to meet Lily with Hanako. I don't know what you've got going through your head. So, Lily's back. Yeah, she's coming on the evening flight with her sister. So, she'll be back in school next week. Let's go. And... As she takes the note back and begins to write, I look up to see an unwelcome sight. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be Kenji, bro, because he said an unwelcome sight, and the only person I think of is like, 
<laughs> it must be him. The one whose name shall not be uttered like Voldemort. While I frantically try to uh, silently catch Misha's attention, Muto uh, confidently strides through the gap between the desks from the front of the class. His intent gaze focused directly on her. She suddenly stops writing as his tall figure casts an impossibly long shadow over the page. <clears throat> I, let me guess, he's about to let you have it, bro. This man finna rip you both a new one. Ah, I. He suddenly takes the piece of paper from her and begins to read. Sweating bullets, I quickly glance around the class, noting their complete silence. Of course, it would just have to be the one thing that actually gets their attention during the lesson. This is the first time I've ever seen a face like this. Or at least, first time in a while that I remember. Um, after a scant few seconds examining the page, he rolls the paper up into a small tube and lightly bumps Misha over the head with it. Half an hour until you can hop off the Eastern Council. I think you can hold on until then. Misha's face cracks as the entire class erupts into laughter. <laughs> I would like to say I feel bad for her, because you know, I ain't seen his face. But at the same time, after what she put us through, hell no, I'm gonna be laughing with him. Mwahahaha! You remember every time when she went wahahaha at us? Karma is a bit, ain't it? Uh, you love how the karma feel, huh? He might well be awkward, but he knows how to handle her excellency. I'd probably feel sorry for her if it, if I weren't as busy stifling my own laughter. See? There's reasons. There's levels to this, bro. Hey, Hanukkah looking cute again. Yeah, let's go. Same outfit. Don't give a damn. Because she look cute. Hissel. Is that one it? No. I think that's some foreign airline. And so, the third aircraft they're not on comes to land. For the past half hour, we've been whiling away the time. With small snippets of pointless chatter. Lily and Akira's flight has been delayed, and at this rate, it'll probably be dark before the plane arrives. Is that one it? No, the company colors are wrong. Hanukkah's eyes flutter left and right, following the trickle of people in and out of the huge glass doors ahead of us. Fortunately, nobody's pay nobody pays her much heed. Their attention apparently directed toward towards greater things. Maybe that one is it? No, I think that's... Hold on a minute. I think that one might be it after all. Let's go! It takes, um, it takes still some more time before the billboard changes their flight status to disembarking. A loud yawn sneaks up on me, not allowing enough time to stifle it. My sleep patterns have, once again, been all over the place. Likely due to a mix of worrying about Hanako and the side effects on that medication. That's tough. Sal, over there. Let's go. I look to Hanako, then follow and gaze to the airport's door. Hmm. Oh, Lily. There, there. Really? Let's go! Yeah! Woo! Lily, to the mall! Um, we all call out to each other in greeting, quickly shuffling over to the side to avoid blocking the passage brothers. How you doing? Oh, hey Akira. Lily! Hanukkah jumps uh, forward to hug Lily, a wide smile on her face, um, being all that's needed to see her happiness at Lily's return. Lily simply smiles in return, her, vo her voice soft. It's wonderful to meet you again, Hanako. As the two give each other a hug, well deserved after what's happened, while she was gone. I turn to Akira. Yo, you're pretty late. Yeah, there was a really bad storm uh, over the airport. 
We got drenched just going from the car to the door. You don't say. I guess you'll appreciate the weather here more then. Welcome uh, back to you too, Lily. Hanukkah breaks off from Lily as I speak. For a long time, neither of us says a word. Contrary to what I thought, um, her homecoming would be like the atmosphere feels awkward, almost stifling. Both of us try to guess each other's feelings. Not quite sure about what should be said. Bro, if they didn't kiss by the end of this act, bro, I'm just saying. I wonder what it would be like to do it with um, Lily. You know, I'm just saying, because uh, in case y'all know what Lily's disability is, I'm just saying. I wonder how that would go down. Not that we would see that on stream, because, you know, haha. <laughs> um, because, ha ha ha. Yeah, because if that was on TikTok, boy, would Papa Twitch not be happy. This is exactly what I feared um, when I thought of trying to move things forward between us. Lily runs her hand through her fair hair and awkwardly tells um, one of her bangs in her fingers, clearly trying to think of how best to react. Eventually, thankfully, Lily gives a small sigh and breaks the silence. Thank you, sir. It's nice to be back. Are you okay? You look tired. Evidently not recollecting herself all of that well, she quickly waves her hand in front of her face to starve off, no, stave off, um, any concern Hanukkah may have over her. I'm okay. Really. It's just a bit of jet lag. Weak. <laughs> Yo, this is brain types of trolls, bro. You don't have any? She simply gives a big grin, puffing out her modest chest. I feel absolutely fine. Modest chest. Hey, it's how I saw what you did. I saw what you did, it's how. You're not slick, bruh. You're not slick. That's not fair. <laughs> well, you shouldn't take too long to get rid of it. Oh, that's right. It's how? Yeah? Don't we have a holiday from school soon? I'd have forgotten if Misha hadn't reminded me this morning. We've got a three-day weekend starting from tomorrow. Kira playfully bumps her elbow lightly into Lily's side, grinning. Told ya, you wouldn't miss it. You have something planned? If neither you or Hanukkah are busy. Hey, let's go! Mm -mm -mm. I've got no plans, so something to do would be appreciated. Hanukkah? No, nothing. That's good. I was thinking we could go to my family's summer house for a bit. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Family summer house? You know what I'm finna be like? Baby, grind on me. Relax your mind. Take your time on me. I apologize to anyone who comes in at these moments randomly throughout the streams. And especially anyone who's new and is like, whoa. Whoa. I didn't know sugar gets down like this on your streams. What I miss? It's like, um, early on when I was in the shower with Kenji and Kenji was, uh, you know, they didn't have a shirt on. And I remember everyone, just, anyone coming in and there was this one guy specifically, I forgot his name, but he came in and he was like, yo, and he's like, wait, did I come in at the wrong time? What type of game is this? I was like, no, I promise you it's not what I think it is. Especially during November as well, man. Tough times, tough times. But now it's DDD. I hope all you fellas and ladies enjoy DDD. Um, mainly the fellas. If you actually about to be saved in November, I was ruled out. Uh, Ethan, I think, succeeded. I didn't confirm that. I don't think I need to, but I think he did. So enjoy that. Uh, I wonder if there are people that actually commit to DDD, the segment they do commit to no, no, November. <coughs> Because at least when they're in November, it's like, you can do it, but like, DDD. If y'all know what DDD is, trying to maintain DDD is nuts, like, dog. At this point, it's not even pleasure, it just hurts. I would have failed, like, after the second day, bro. Trust me. i am like, yeah, nah, absolutely not. For a bit of uh, quiet over the break. We've rarely used it recently. 
Um, though, so we have to dust it off um, a little while we're there. Easy, baby girl. Easy. Oh, where is it? Up north in Hokkaido. The place is practically deserted, so it should be a nice quiet break for you guys. Let's go! I'm telling y'all, if you ain't never been to like a beach house or like a vacation house, whether it's your own or a mate's, or another family members, you're missing out, man. I've only been to once, but no. It's nice. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize I just bumped up the table like that. You're not coming? Nah. Got a little holiday on my own. Set up my boyfriend. I almost forget Akira's a girl sometimes. Like, I know Akira's a girl, but like, I, I look at Akira more like a guy, so it's like, when she says stuff like that, I'm like, whoa. Ultimately, don't care then, day, but it's just like a perspective type thing. I lower my eyes at her, suspicious of her intentions. It sounds just like we're uh, cleaning up the summer house for you. That's perhaps a valid conclusion. Nah, you finna clean that up, bro. Both of us um, zero in on Akira. Her face somewhat evasive. Looks like we're right. That's just a convenient bonus. Really. Me and the guy left it in a pretty good condition last we were there. High promise. Better hope so. Now then, I'm out of here. Already, Akira? She quickly turns and walks away. Her hand held high. See ya in a few days, guys. Akira's gonna get her back blown out. That's pretty much what she said, without saying it. You know how some people can communicate things non-verbally? Yeah, that's pretty much what Akira just did. She's like, yeah, I'm finna meet my mans, but like, you know, I'm also gonna get my back blown out. I was, I was about to move myself, but I also realized I got hands. But, yeah. If y'all know the term, y'all know what Kira's getting down to. Getting down and dirty. Lily and I um, can only sight at her hasty retreat. It doesn't sound like it would be... It does sound like it would be a nice place to go. Yes, yes. I'm about to say yes, ma'am, but I also realized, like, yo, we're the same age. Hassal, I meant, but, like, you know. Lily gives an enthusiastic nod. Um, I'll probably be closer in age to Akira than the rest of them. Um, taking her carry bag in one hand and placing her other on Hanako's shoulder for guidance. As we begin to make our way to the taxi area. After the... I remember her maid defined this before, but oh, what the... F Bro, just, just use actual words that people use. After the fracas, frashas, um, of the past few days... Spending a weekend in the country alone with her and Hanukkah sounds like a dream. Because it is. You know why? Because I was thinking about us. Thinking about we. Thinking about us. What we gonna be. Open my eyes again. It was only just a dream. So I travel back down that road. You should know. No. No one knows. Open my eyes again. It was only just a dream. Oh, Amen. Na 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 na, you no one else gonna care, my baby. I don't know the lyrics entirely well for that song, but I'm telling you, if I get in my bag, if I get in my emotional bag, who gonna stop me? The more I think about it, the more sure I am. This will be the right time and place to confess my feelings to. Let's go, bro. I'm trying to speed run this now. The more I see this, the, not, the more I know I'm getting closer to finishing Act 3. Let's go! Show me that cinematic baby! More... You know, I'm kind of glad we got times like these where I... I, Because, you know, as much as I like chatting chat, because I know how much intelligence I can go, I'm, I fully take advantage of the moments like this where I'm just like... Bah, 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 bah. Um, the morning chill... The morning chill wraps itself around my shivering body. Wait, hold up. Now that I think about it, I gotta actually... All endings... 
Because if I finish this earlier than I expected, I could just watch all endings on YouTube in my free time. All endings. Um... I'm not sure if YouTube would show all endings in detail, but yeah. Okay. I saw some thumbnails and also realized I probably should have seen some of those thumbnails, but yeah. Um... I literally saw some thumbnails and I was like, oh wait, that looks like spoilers. So I immediately just clicked that. I was like, wait, hold up. Okay. I've gotten out of the YouTube app, but just to make sure. Because I'm like, yo, I don't want to spoil myself just in case. Just in case, bro. I'm only doing one of the girls and one of the roots, but you know. I want to spoil myself. The morning chill wraps itself around my shivering body. A huff. For a second, I thought it said, I huff and puff. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. I huff and puff into my cupped hands to desperately try and stave off the cold as we mill about on um, the station platform. Lily's clothing looks rather ill-suited for the temperature around us. I can only hope it's indicative of what she expected expects for the weather to be like at our destination. Damn it, Lily. Why do we have to get here? <laughs> Unfortunately, the train schedule is against us. The next train to Hokkaido is at 2 in the afternoon. Huh? Great. Just great. I pause a moment to wipe some sleep out of my eyes. And Lily promptly takes advantage of the opening. Cheer up, Asa. Once we get there, it'll be much warmer. Oh, yeah. I know what type of warm she talking about. <laughs> um, Why not just take the bullet train? The normal train's going to take hours to get us there. So you may as well just take the Shinkansen line as far north as it goes and just switch at the end. There's a certain charm to all the trains, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Um, if my, also, if my answers get slightly boring, it's because I'm trying to like keep it short and concise and just wrap this up. Hopefully I can finish Act 3 by tonight, get part way through Act 4 and then hopefully um, do a little bit Friday. And then Sunday, oh no, yeah, Sunday I'm hoping to stream, yeah. And then hopefully by Sunday I can at least try finish rest. Katosha. I don't even think Sunday I'll finish it, but like maybe hopefully by Monday at least. By Monday I'm giving myself Monday the latest, because I know if I give myself a deadline, if I push myself, I'm more likely to do it than if I just be flimsy and I'm like, because ah. typically everything I've told myself like. If I've been a dictator myself like this, this, and that, I've gotten it. But if I was like, <sighs> if I if I give something a wishy washy attitude, I'll get wishy washy results, per se. So, for some people, it works amazing. But for me, it's like I kind of know what works, so I'm just gonna stick to that now. Ah, all right, let's get this coffee out of the way. It's weird, like, I don't feel sleepy, but my head feels fuzzy in a weird sense. And I, I don't want to say it's this ring light that I'm looking at, because it's always usually there. Wait, hold up. I want to try adjust this real quick. kind of more straight so hopefully it blinds me less and hopefully whatever feeling I've got right now is just gonna push to the side I'd agree if uh, it weren't if I weren't freezing in the morning cold because we decided to take this one I'm sorry sir drink water friend thank you mate I appreciate that I very much appreciate that I mean, you already know, and for those that don't know, the coffee is just the energy booster for like the first two to four hours, and the water is just, you know, balance. Balance, but also because you guys feel like it, but thank you. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for what for? I was the one who suggested taking a normal train. It was you! 
I knew Kenji was right. That women are all just a bunch of... Nah, jokes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> to anyone who's either played this game, watched it, or just been around, you would have known what I was referencing. But yes. Way to make me feel guilty. All I can do is sigh and cover my face with my hand. It's fine. I'm just grumbling. My, my, Hanukkah. You need to shoulder all the blame for you. Yourself. Even without um, your suggestion, I'd still have opted for the same thing. Thankful for the quick interception from Lily, I take a quick gander around the station. Aside from us, the train's platform's all but deserted. The morning dew settling on the empty benches. I guess no one else was masochistic enough <laughs> to try to bra to brave the early, very early morning. Though if someone was, um, they more than noticed the huge bags both Lily and Hanukkah brought with them. I was about to say, it's not, is it not like a three day weekend? Like, bruh, chill out. Um, just what did you have to pack those things for? Pack it. Just what did you have to pack into those things anyways? The bags? Hmm. She pauses a moment and tilts her head in thought. My entire house? Bruh, if she actually says that, I'm a mind reader, bruh. Change of clothing, raincoat, underwear, sleepwear, a number of books. I think that's mostly it. Excuse me? You make it sound as if I'm unprepared. <laughs> Fact, bro. She makes me feel unprepared, and I'm not even going. You brought less underwear and a pack of cards. Is it? <laughs> that is true. She's not gonna be able to see you, so. And my pills, but never mind that. No pajamas. Girl, I don't give a damn about pajamas, bro. I'm worn pajamas since like the fifth grade. Okay, that's a lie. I've worn pajamas since like I was like, I think, thirteen or fourteen. But that's also because like, I kind of outgrew all my pajamas. I don't know if I try wearing them right now, it'd just be like skin tight. Either skin tight or it just would not fit at all. Like, by, by not fit, I mean really tight. Like, unbearable types. Just, no. Damn. I knew I forgot something. As I ruffle my hair in frustration, Lily sighs. It should be clothes um, you could use it there. Kira still occasionally goes there, after all. And I think some of your parents' clothing is still um, in storage. I don't think there'll be any problem with you borrowing a set of pajamas if need be. Thanks. So, I don't mind just sleeping in my normal clothing. Nah, Hisao, you're wrong for that, bro. At least pack for like another night or two of extra clothing, bro. Like, what if you go to the beach? Um, your clothes get dirty. If you, I don't know, just want to actually change your freaking clothes, bruh. Uh, good point. Not really. Bro. Two days would be borderline. It's more than looking even a little like a slub would be un unacceptable while in the presence of two girls. As we leisurely talk on the station platform, an announcement sounds from the loudspeakers, loudly hearing our rides on arrival. Looking past, Lily and Hanako, though. The train's still well out of sight. A quick check out of my watch is enough to see that... that it's the main one we'll be taking. Nice. 5.30 train was ours, right? Correct. Either of you want to take your bags? Mine's not exactly heavy. My bye. That's very gentlemanly of you, so... Um, don't accept too, re too reluctantly now. Ugh. As I bend down to pick um, up Lily's large bag, I look up to see Hanako's picking up. Hanako picking up hers. You fine with that? A silent nod is the only answer. I'm starting to get the feeling that the by the trip's end, I'll be able to count everyone's sentence. <laughs> I'll be able to count every sentence she said. Oh, what? <laughs> Hold oh, yes. All oh, this dialogue. All the silence, it was worth it for moments like these. For these cute, adorable moments, bruh. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for moments like these. What a time to be alive. We truly do live at the best moment of society. At the best moment in time, I meant. The best moment. No, we live at the best moment of society. What am I saying, bruh? I don't even know what that means, but I'm saying. With the morning landscape 
passing by the window, and the occasional rattle of the train bumping the carriage around. I try to focus my attention on the aging um, playing cards held in my hands. I'll raise you five. Um, I... She scrunches her face up and leans over to Lily. Excuse me? Conspiratorially... Cons conspiratorially... The two exchanging a few whispered words. Considering how often this has happened so far, I'm coming to doubt um, Hanukkah's grasp of how to play poker. It doesn't seem to disturb Lily's reading though. Her hands are um, fitting over each page with only occasional corrections to account for the trains bumping and rocking. My collection of chess pieces that we're using as chips is steadily growing anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Looking around us, our carriage is almost as empty as the station platform we'd waited for the train in itself on. I promise you I'm not dyslexic, but like, not that there's anything wrong with being dyslexic, but like, I feel like sometimes if I'm not on a roll, my brain just starts to like, fizz out. Only a handful of people can be seen, looking mostly like tourists and couples on holidays. While the two um, continue their less than... Where the f do you be getting these words from, bruh? Like, actually, you're just trying to make my life a living... A living ride. A living roller coaster. Strategizing, a small boy looks over the seat and stares at me, hoping he doesn't begin to stare at Hanago. Uh, I simply give him a wave and a smile. Hopefully that deters him. Thankfully he retreats back to um, his seat after finding me far too boring to waste his tissue. Well, that's one way to put it. I'll see you and raise you another five. Damn, you got me. I fall. I ain't never fall, but you know. In this context, this is probably the only context where I fall. I've been bluffing and she just caught me. Hanging my head, I push over a large portion of my winnings. Hanukkah looks absolutely delighted, and even if Lily keeps her attention focused on her reading material, um, I can see the smirk on her face. <laughs> They're both extremely pleased. Man, this is wholesomeness. This is legitness. For a moment, I try to work out um, what Lily's reading, but the cover is too faded to read beyond the fact that Roman letters are on it. A pity that I can't read the braille above the printer title. Um, what are you reading, Lily? The title looks like it's in English. I'm about to say, how could she read? But I remembered, her maze told me this. And true, it's, it was described in the show. I mean, not the show, I mean, the, the visual novel. Where they talked about how Braille is used, and I think if you, it's like a certain system. Like, you know, there's Morse code? Not the same thing, but there's a system. And it's universal. So once you know it, you're good. You ain't gotta be able to see everything. I could give you the world, baby girl. You just gotta be perfect. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. What are you reading, Lily? The title looks like it's in English. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested as well. What's up? Uh, that's right. It's, and then there were none. An old British story. I could read it to you if you'd like. She extends the offer with a grin. Obviously in jest. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Yeah, let's go. This is it. We're living lavish now, guys. Sugar Cube Mansion, let's get it. After a seemingly endless trip, we finally reached the promised land. Shut up, promised Neverland. Um, of the Sato Summer House. Even after the train trip, um, the walk up seemed to take forever. Despite my grumblings though, I had never guessed the sight that would be in store for us once we had traveled that long, deserted road. It looks far more like a farmhouse than the everyday house I imagine. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this looked different to what I expected as well. I was expecting like a decked out mansion. Decently sized though. It's got a garage, everything. 
Um, small size and surrounded by trees and bushes. Maybe it's because I was seeing of Lily's folks, and I was like, nah, man. They, they live in big. They live in uh, lavish. An empty expanse of wheat fields and farming land can be seen as we walk up. The fencing only consisting of rickety old wooden planks. It really drives home how far we are from the major cities and is a sight that feels Where do you all be getting these words from? Antithetical to the environment I grew up in. Like, I'll just be making these up at a certain point. The only thing that doesn't surprise me is it's western styling. Wow, it's amazing here. Hmm, it's wonderful. That's nice to hear. While Akira may have said that she's kept the house in reasonable condition, I was worried that we might have a different standard of reasonable. <laughs> True. Opposite of? Ah, okay. So I'm just saying, they got words for like everything. And I'm grateful for it, but at the same time, I don't care. I actually don't care. Like, why can't you use simple words? Like, this is the opposite of this. And blah, 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 blah. Like, bruh. But thank you, Emmy. I appreciate that. Gonna eat? Be back in a while? That's all good. That's all good. Thank you for your conversation. Thank you for chilling with us. Don't get too much of a sugar high. Enjoy that. And I welcome you back when you come back. Uh, day. I don't know what's up with me. I didn't. Maybe it's because I didn't take a nap tonight. Today. And my brain is so, like, accustomed to taking a nap before shooting that it's like. Whoa, I'm not used to this. It looks like there isn't another soul for Miles. I thought Akira would be the type to keep to the city. Lily furrows her brow and thought, similarly recalling almost forgotten knowledge. Hmm. From memory, there's just there's a small town not too far ahead. Other than that, though. This is largely just old farmland. Akira and I stayed in our parents' house, which was um, in the nearest city for a while. But after they left, we decided to move into a smaller, more easily maintainable house. Fair enough. Independence in that. Um, to find a place like this in Japan nowadays, it's kind of anachronistic. Where do y'all be making these words up? Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me let me pull up and let me let me ask um Siri. Hey Siri, what is Anna Cross? Hey Siri, what does anachronistic mean? Belonging to a period other than portrayed. Well, this town does have quite a bit of history. I looked down on the street one last time before getting back to the task at hand. Shall we go in then? I'm parched. I forgot, I should probably save as I go. Don't know why that's just hit me, but let's do that. And just to make sure, yep, did not save over last time, so that is very good. Very nice. Should I go in then? I'm posh. It was a long walk to get here. Lily gives an enthusiastic nod. The three of us lugging our bags into the house. Oh, this is nice and chill, bruh. As soon as we set foot inside, Hanukkah and I start looking around, taking in every detail of where we'll be staying for the next few days. Ah, hold up. I gotta make an executive decision, y'all. Let me just do this. Disable full screen mode real quick. I'm, I'm going to take a quick little break, and I'm going to be back, like, I don't know, five minutes or so. In the meantime, let's do this for y'all. Let's get it, y'all. Alright, let's return. We're trying to get through Act 3, bruh. 
As soon as we set foot inside, Hanukkah and I start looking around, taking in every detail of where we'll be staying for the next few days. All the artifacts of another life's of another's life um, stopped mid motion um, around the house, such as the television guide lying beside the counter it was on, and pans in the adjoining kitchen still sitting on the stove. It's a strange feeling, really, as if we were um, stepping into Akira's life for a brief moment before leaving in a couple of days, just as we'd come. Of course, the more mundane reality is that she just hasn't cleaned up after herself that well. Where should we put our bags? I'll show Hanukkah our bedroom. You can put yours here if you like. You mean, I don't have the same bed as you do? <laughs> Hanukkah, hey. Uh, so I don't think you thought that through, my guy. <laughs> Hanukkah flowers into a full blush as Lily takes her cheek in hand, in her hand. Oh my, how bold. You two. Hold on, if I'm not leaving my bags here, where will I be sleeping? Well, seeing as we lack a guest bedroom. I was about to say my guy, put two of them together. The convertible futon, huh? Sorry, Hissa. Oh, sorry, limiting my place on the bottom rung of sleeping location priorities. I guess there's no other choice. Lily leaves to show Hanako the bedroom, so I take a small tour of my surroundings after I drop my bag on the floor. The kitchen, just like the living room, is fairly modest. The rustic nature of the wooden, wooden furnishings drives home just how far we are from civilization. This is a nice place though. Returning to the living room, I decide to try out the television until we get back. He's like, man, where did Netflix at? Actually, I'm not even sure if Netflix was around this time. Whoa. Time flies. With the touch of um, the remote, it immediately flickers uh, to life. Apparently, se apparently set to a news channel. Almost flopping down from exhaustion rather than sitting. I lay back and watch. Wait. I lay back and watch what I miss. And watch. And watch. Let me guess. Sleep. There we are. Okay, never mind. I thought we were going to get the Katawa Shoujo symbol with the music like the dun 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 dun. Because I'm really trying to push it. Um, I quickly blink to wake myself up. Lily and Hanako haven't returned, minus their bags. Did they take that long? From the Hokkaido night sky, uh, visible outside the windows, it looks like I drifted off to sleep. Looking through the wall man clock, it's already 10. You found the television then? Yeah, it really does feel nice and homey here. I'm glad you like it. You're already out like a light when we came back after unpacking our things, so we didn't have the heart to wake you up sooner. Ah, okay. Thank you. Naps are essential, bro. Naps are essential to life. Um, judging from a giggle, I must sound funny when I'm asleep. I swiftly decide not to inquire. There's some dinner waiting for you in the kitchen. Ooh, KFC. Let's get it. Hanukkah quick, uh, gives a deep yawn, only just remembering to cover her mouth at the last second. Mama, are you tired? Um, I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm pretty tired too. It was a long walk up here, and it's getting late. If that's the case, I suppose we should retire for the night. Good night, Hissa. Good night. Night. For that, they quietly turn um, and walk to the bedrooms. Rubbing my eye, I sigh. I wonder if I'll be able to get uh, back to sleep after being woken up. I suppose I'll eat something and watch some more TV quietly before going to bed. Let's go. There it is. Is he still sleeping? I think so. I'm not. I am, however, incredibly tired. 
It's getting late in the morning. I know that. He likely stayed up to watch television. I could hear from our bedroom. Only because I couldn't get to sleep. Should we wake him? Don't do that, Hanako. Please. No, we should leave him. Our daddy wanted to be woken early if he didn't get much sleep during the night. Thank you, Louie. Besides, he sounds so peaceful. It would be a shame to wake him up when he's like this. Keep a straight face, Sal. It's nice she cares so much, though. Um, Hanako, could you go through the fridge and fish out what's needed to make a lunch? Alright, just the vegetables and rice? Hmm, that should be enough. Hell no, that ain't enough. Get to meat. Hunt a rabbit if you gotta. I don't even eat rabbit, but we'll make exceptions. We only need something simple, as we can eat in town later. Hanako's footsteps on the carpeted floor can be heard. Moving away from the living room, as they do, I feel Lily's hand gently rest on my chest. It takes a titanic effort not to react, but something about her makes me think she knows I'm awake. A long silence passes. The only thing in my mind um, is of that gentle outstretched hand laying upon my chest. After an indiscernible amount of time, Lily withdraws her hand. Good morning, Hissa. Mierda. Conceding defeat all too easy, I prop myself up and run my eyes. How do you know? Your breathing was off. You're kidding me. I know her senses is up by like 10, but dog. Ain't, boy ain't no way. Boy ain't no way, ain't no way. Well, that makes sense. She couldn't have needed that long, she couldn't have needed that long to work it out. Knowing her hearing, she likely knew it before laying her hands on me. If you want to sleep more, you should really go to bed earlier. I had the television going on into the night. Sorry about that. My medications have been interfering with my sleep for a while now. Even if I'm tired, I have really trouble. I have trouble actually sleeping. Shout out to any insomniacs. Uh, I feel for y'all because of a dog. I don't have it, but just imagine what it's like. That's tough. With being tired as and it's like, nah, I gotta do this. It's like, what? I'm, I'm sorry for bringing it up, Hissel. I say, this is exactly the kind of thing I wish others didn't do. Prelude. I bet. Hopefully this means prelude to the end of this. Um... Wave her off or address it? Alright, let's address it. Why not? Come on. You worry about me more than I do at times. It just means that I have to sleep a bit longer. That's all. But still. I'd say that I look absolutely fine, but I guess that wouldn't have a lot of meaning for you. She gives a sigh of concentration before trailing off with an amused chuckle. Giving up the point. If you say so, please do take care of yourself, Isa. Go on. Hanukkah could use some help. She moves to protest, but reluctantly acquiesces, acquiesces um, and disappears into the kitchen. I remember that word. Boy, it was not fun. You remind me of a word that I want you. I see your face whenever I, I look at you. You wouldn't believe all of the things she put me through. This is why I just can't get with you. You remind me of a girl. I was you. I see a face whenever I, I look at you. You wouldn't believe all of the things she put me through. This is why I just can't get with you. 
She moves to protest, but reluctantly. Okay. Her hand running through the smooth white walls as she slowly walks. For a while, I sit and watch television in attempt to wake myself a little more, but it's futile. I don't have anything better to do, so I follow Lily's lead. Oh, let me get my mini blanket again. I ain't gonna lie, my lower half is starting to get mad cold. Which is weird, because I got long pants on. And I'm all decked out in black. Okay, I didn't mean I didn't mean to ugly yawn on camera, but dog, it's weird. Maybe I should have taken that nap. For a while, I still watch television in attempt. Okay. As I round the corner, I see Lily and Hanako. Back turned, quietly cutting through on the granite um, colored counter. I'm. Temporarily um, engrossed as I watch Lily guiding the knife down carefully with a finger on the cabbage she's cutting. Each slice delivered slowly, but with precision. My oh, damn. She seems a little slow, but considering that she can't see what she's doing, it's a small wonder she can cook at all. Yep, definitely reminds me of that Master Chef winner. The only first one that was blind. Because I assume there might have been others who tried the blind thing. Whether they actually had it or not, but you know what I'm saying. Man, this is how you know I'm kind of tired, because like, my enunciating game is just getting weaker, bro. Hi, Hanako. Lily. Want any help? Is that... is that... Oh, morning, is that... Why she looks so mortified? Lily jerks back in surprise before turning around. Her uh, yelp immediately drawing Hanako and me to her side. What's uh... A trickle of scarlet falls downwards from her pale fingertip. The knife having cut just deep enough to draw blood. With the television's sound masking my footsteps, she must not have noticed me coming. To compensate for having to use touch to guide everything she does during cooking. She must need to pay extra attention. Lily! Get her! Get her paramedic! Don't worry, Hanako. It's just a small wound. She should still get a band-aid on it. At least until it stops bleeding. Um, first aid stuff could be in the bathroom, right? I think so. Um, will you be here? Will you be okay here, Hanako? I frown at how little um, he she's paying attention to herself as Hanako gives a quick, almost automatic nod. It's fine. I can keep making lunch. An awkward silence reigns as I set the bottle of the antiseptic um, and the box of the band-aids and box of band-aids on the side of the sink. Lily's finger held out for me to treat. This is the lid of the bottle that comes off with a minimum of resistance. And the small ball of cotton I soak in the liquid stains a pale green. Okay, hold still. This will probably hurt a bit. She gives a small nod as I uh, take hold of her hand to steady it. With all the tenderness I can muster, I gently bring the dampened wad to the small red wine. Slime. Ah, what? I barely touched it. So, I give a sigh, both um, at a reaction and to settle my own nerves. Her pain tolerance is startling, though. I would tell you, Matt. <laughs> I don't know what you would think to tell her that, uh, but I really can't do that. And if, even if she accepts it, what, what were you gonna do? As she gives a small giggle, I take advantage of her momentary distraction um, and gently press the cotton against her finger a few times. Thankfully, it's enough to do the job. We both settle as I bring in the band-aid over the top of her finger. 
covering the rune while making sure it's not about to get stuck to um, fingernail. There. Here's. Whoa. There, finished. You can move now. Thanking, taking her hand from mine, she gently clasps it, clasps it in the other. Thank you. It's no problem. It's the least I can do after causing you to hurt yourself, after all. She lowers her head slightly at the apology, absentmindedly rubbing her hand in what seems to be embarrassment. I really don't mind. Her answer doesn't seem to make much sense, given, um... What happened is pretty clearly my fault. I can't help grimacing at her, despite the fact that um, her dainty smile stalls. She must not like being reminded of the limitations her lack of sight imposes on her. Something I can't possibly fault for, fault fault her for. I've fallen prof into the same kind of feelings before, despite my condition not being. Uh, nearly as ubiquitous in my life. Neither of us, um, neither of us any the happier. We head back to the various smells of the cooking food coming from the kitchen. I lay out the plates of food, steam slowly rising from the well-cooked rice and curry dishes. While Hanako lays out um, the cutlery, knife hit, knife one side, fork on the other, Weston. How perfectly fitting for someone like Lily. Um, as we take our seats, uh, to taking, oh, I talking, taking careful heed of the dark um, red tablecloth hanging below our knees, Lily emerges from the kitchen. In her hands are three glasses and a bottle of, um, wine. Wait, and a bottle of what? Okay. This is all starting to blend together. That's how, like, it's weird, because I took coffee, but, like, because, it's like I told you before, if you're, like, really tired, coffee and caffeine does not save you. It, it, it gives you a boost of energy, but, like, if you're drained, if you're, like, ugh, then, like, It'll get to you, bro. I'm a face of palm. Wait, what did it say? Bottle one. Okay, I'm gonna try, hopefully, just do a couple more minutes. If I get to the four hour mark, I'll be impressed. Hopefully I can get close to the end of act three and then it'll be one more act. Probably split across like another stream or two. Alcohol, seriously. She pauses as she reaches the table, um, a playful grin perched on her face. Akira specifically gave permission to take a bottle from her collection. Not only does she give alcohol miners, she even lets them pilfer their own. The perfect model of um, responsible adult Akira is not. More to the point though, is that this is hardly a meal deserving of alcohol. I'm starting to think that Lily is the type to become easily hooked on things. That's not really a problem. I don't really have any qualms with it. But, didn't you have a bad experience with it last time? Last time was likely due to drinking too much, so a single glass should improve a problem. How about you start eating, then it won't be a problem at all. Just, you know. And I'm not saying stuff yourself silly, like, stuff yourselves with actual food. Okay, that sounds like a bit of smart. So, stuff yourselves with proper nutritional food and you'll be set. And trust me, this is coming from a guy whose friends drink nearly all the time. The vast majority of them, so.
think of it as a learning experience. I can't recall many learning experiences that made me feel run before putting me to sleep, but I'll take your word for it. She dips an uninjured finger inside to fill the liquid level. Tip against the bottom as the liquid rises up. The white of her finger almost seems to glow as the sunlight hits it. The delicate outline blurred and refracted by the glass. Her fingers are definitely longer than mine. The kind I think um more I'd more the kind I think more suited to a pianist than a teacher. She'd likely have done well if she'd learned how to play. Well that's the past man. That's the past. She ain't gotta remember that now. Irrelevant. <laughs> that jokes. Oh man. We quickly, we quickly dig into a meal. Forks and knives clattering against plates. None of us are particularly eager to speak while eating. Um, Lily altogether reserved for such a thing. Hanukkah probably uh, too shy to start a conversation, and I too busy to start saving the food. Such a pedestrian activity, eating together at the table. It seems so utterly normal, yet it makes me realize how long it's been since I've done something like this. That is fact. Hold on, I want to do something. Let me do this for myself. <laughs> no cap. I don't realize how tired I was. My goodness. Man. This is why having clones would be amazing, because I could sleep, the real BL cell could sleep, and I could have clone takeover, have my same mannerisms and everything, and bam, set back to it, back to back to back to back. Um, such pedestrian activity, eating together at a table. It seems something so utterly normal, yet it makes me realize how long it's been since I've done this. Some of this before. Ooh, naughty boy, sir. Just the three of us. Just the three of us. Boom. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Um, sitting around a single table, eating as if you were a malformed family. Maybe this trip, as far away from everything as we are, was worth it. It takes quite a long time, but eventually we all finish our surprisingly filling meal. The wine, thankfully, has little effect given we've only had one glass or two. Wait. It takes quite a long time, but eventually we finish our surprisingly filling meal. Uh, um, I slump back into the seat, rubbing my stomach contentedly. I'm stuffed. Lily pats her mouth with a napkin. Twice, only twice. And with evenly timed intervals in between, it's hard to tell sometimes whether how she acts is this well-trained routine or a well-rehearsed act. And to that, we shall find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Do, 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 do. Wait, hold up. How tired am I? Let me look at the camera and let me look at myself in OBS Studio because I can tell I'm enunciating a lot more than I want to or that I should. You know what I think it is? It might be a whole myriad of reasons with dog. I'm telling you, binging all that Demon Slayer throughout the day might have fried my brain. Imagine staring at the screen for like four hours, four and a half hours, bro. Even if it's good content, your brain just has to go malfunction, bro. I can see when my parents are like, yeah, nah. 
because binging stuff like that or even live action or movies can rot your brain or at least so I believe Lily pats her mouth with a napkin twice only twice and with evenly timed intervals in between it's time uh, it's hard to tell someone whether how she acts is a well-trained routine or a well rehearsed act I think I must be as well. Did you like it, Hanukkah? Hmm. It was nice. Now that we're all uh, fed, shall be off? Off where? Ah, you weren't privy to discussion between Hanukkah and me over here. Um, I got the impression that she's having a subtle dig at my sleeping in. Um, we'll be going to town nearby. I guess I should have expected two girls to take a holiday as an excuse to go shopping. No matter where on the planet they may be. Facts, bro. Factually actual, bro. They're shopping with women. Have fun, my guys. <laughs> I'm interested to see more about the North, so... This can only be one good. Sounds good. How long, um... How long is the walk in then? It's supposed to be um, around a mile to a mile and a half. Nearby. Huh. Great. Just great. Okay, hopefully I can finish Act 3 tonight. I might not start. I'll probably get to the beginning of Act 4 and then I'll probably just go to sleep because, dog, I feel ridiculously tired. I haven't felt this tired since, like, I think Monday or Tuesday, bro. Which hasn't been that long, but still. Well, hold up. I didn't realize that we've been disconnected. Hold up, hold up. Let me sort this out. Let me sort this out, lol. Allow me to sort this out, chat. 